Hello, everyone. Welcome to That's Happening, the monthly podcast. You're listening to Kotacha Orchestra, Bandova Electronica, which is a, a cool combination of Czech music, jazz, and electronic. Um, this is the new album released on Big Round Records. Okay, so you can check that one out. Right, so the second thing, it's a uh, uh, work called Vishnu in New York, and it's an adaptation of a uh, Hindu holy text. Brahma by Varta Purana, um, which was translated by Heinrich Zimmer from a book called Myths and Symbols in Indian Art and Civilization, uh, produced during the lockdown. I call it lockdown. Nobody was really the locked life. down, but we all stayed home. And kinship um, of an Indra. This is Indra the epilogue. This is the ending eons. piece of the whole thing. And when I'm just a, 28 Indras right to the end. have expired, one day and night of Brahma Always better has elapsed. Listen. But the existence of one Brahma, measured in such Brahma days and nights, is only one. Number three, um, uh, this is from uh, Juilliard, and it's a live stream performance schedule. Uh, there's over 250 recitals from April to June. And um, let's see, there's a whole listing of uh, the different artists, but there's a lot of really cool stuff. There's um, uh, classical music, there's uh, some modern stuff. Uh, tribute to Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers on April 27th. So there's a link. Let's go to that link. So this is to Juilliard Live, uh, juilliard.edu uh, slash live. And you can check them out. Um, gives you a whole schedule. And OK, so number four, um, live reopening, Keystone Corner in Baltimore. It used to be in San Francisco years ago, but they moved out, same guy, uh, moved out to Baltimore a few years back, and um, they are reopening, which uh, I'm kind of amazed, um, whole lineup of people. So uh, there aren't many clubs open at all, but uh, they say they're reopening. So check that out. Um, let's see, Costa Rican Blues guitarist Jose Ramirez. Okay, let's check that guy out. Hang on. Um, I hope we have a link for that one. Let's see. Jose Ramirez. Okay, he's uh, got a new album on Delmark, um, which is a, a great um, uh, blues label in Chicago. They have um, some excellent modern music as well. Um, you can't hear it. It says pre-order here. Uh, I wish we could listen to it. <clears throat> anyway, um, that's coming out. And so I would I'd keep an eye out on that. So, oh, embed. this next, we're going to embed the website and uh, play this concert live. This is from uh, Bang on a Can. And they have this uh, marathon that they do. This is the second one. It's called One Beat Marathon, number two. And some of the greatest musicians all over the world uh, playing on, um, it's kind of like found objects idea, right? Found sound, I think, is the, uh, um, an organization that they've teamed up with. And it's people bang, bang on a can, you know, it's the idea of making music from your surroundings. 
Um, so they're going to have their second virtual event showcasing uh, musicians who have come together to make music, not war. The One Beat Marathon brings together disparate musical communities, uh, offering virtuosic creators a space to share their work. Um, anyway, there's some really cool artists in that. Uh, let's see, the uh, uh, Parma Live Stage. Um, it's Parma Recordings, Parma Live Stage, uh, May 6th is coming up. It's uh, Passage to Improv. Uh, it's a live event. Um, features improvisations based on sections from the works of uh, Benjamin Britten, Maurice Ravel, and Igor Storovitsky. So that's on May 6th. It's also available at um, the website here. So we'll be streaming that as well. And okay, this is another from the same series, okay, from the Parma Live stage. This has already happened, but it's archived, and I think it's, it's super important to, to look at this and to um, respond to it. It's called, We Are Not a Virus, Concert to Hashtag Stop Asian Hate. Uh, and then I have a link uh, on Thursday, April 8th at 7 p.m., Korean American composer and saxophonist Jordan Van Emmer will or has taken the Parma Live stage with pianist Lisa Sun. Together, they will perform a combination of compositions by Van Hemmert and Sun, as well as two Korean traditional works. So check that out. Okay, number nine. <clears throat> Uh, Giant Steps Arts. It's Jimmy Katz as a um, organization. I, I don't know a lot about it other than the records that I've seen that they've released are uh, very, very well done. And it's like a curator, you know, somebody that's really approaching it with a artistic uh, sentiment. So this says that Giant Step Arts in partnership with Jazz Generations Keyed Up continue the acclaimed performance series Walk with the Wind, honoring civil rights activists and con Congressman John Lewis. The concerts, curated by Jimmy Katz and Nasheed Watt Waits, is it Watts or Waits, will take uh, place at pop up locations in New York's Central Park. Shows will be rescheduled in case of inclement weather. Okay, so let's see if you have passed already. But here's April 18th, Antonio Sanchez Trio. Oh, well, that's a good group. Chris Potter, Saturday. That, that's, that's, wow, here's some good stuff. Uh, so, um, so yeah, Saturday the 17th. 18th, it just keeps going all the way into May. Some really great looking bands. So check out the lineup in the notes here. Um, okay, so we have some uh, <clears throat> updates about uh, what's going on with uh, Shapeshifter Lab. And so you can actually go to their website to get that information. Um, they have a, a new showcase page highlighting, highlighting videos that were shot on their stage in the past decade. So you can see past stuff. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, okay, so there's a call. If you've had, if you've done, if you've done a show at uh, Shapeshifter and you would like to um, have your show showcased, let them know. And um, if it was recorded, they can, they can put that up. That's at events at shapeshifterlab.com. Uh, so they've got a blog page, keep you updated. Um, anyway, so, oh, this, this is another item number 11. Um, it says after 22 years, um, Slam Productions 
is to release its last CD in May of this year. So after releasing 250 CDs, George Haslam, who started in 1989, um, will release his last one. Um, so if you're not familiar with that label, um, they have put out albums by Max Roach, Mal Waldron, Steve Lacey. Um, I believe the final one, yes, it's Lowell Coxhill, 85. It's live, um, Lowell, it's, it's Lowell Coxhill. I said Lowell, Lowell Coxhill. It was recorded in 1985, and it's a, a solo performance that he did. Um, anyway, the site will keep going, but I think they're, they're, they're just sort of done recording and cataloging, but uh, it's, it's a wonderful um, project that they've done over the years, um, really recording stuff that has very little commercial value, so it hasn't been picked up properly. Um, so good for you. Thank you, George. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, string Noise celebrates 10 years with three albums. Okay, so Alien Stories. Um, let's see. Okay. Let's see. There was more information on this one. Uh, works by Jesse Cox, Jonathan uh, Finelson, Anise Maiviel, Charles Overton, and Lester St. Louis. And uh, these, uh, it's a live stream. Um, now, I hope this was uh, a uh, archived, because it was March 26, performances uh, hosted by Kurt Gottschalk. Uh, okay, so here's one other thing that we can listen to. A couple more items. Um, ECM Records, which you may be familiar with or not. They've been around forever doing uh, kind of jazz. What do you call it? It's kind of, it's, I mean, beautiful music. Greatest artists, but it's not really more modern music, but pretty. If you can have that, those two together, pretty and modern, they seem to do that. Um, anyway, so bearing with me very well. I appreciate that. Let's see. Okay. So, um, 22 years, we covered slam and string noise, homage a Mozart. So it's three dialogues uh, for a viola and piano. And uh, this is a release um, by ECM, a new series of classical music. And let's see, we can actually, I have a preview for it. I'm not gonna put, the, I can't put it in the notes because it has a password. Uh, maybe we can use that password. It looks complicated. Anyway, um, you can go to their website, and I bet they can. You can find that one. So that's a it's a homage to Mozart. I, I think it's going to be really good. Um, <clears throat> okay, not very helpful, I know. But, okay, so uh, next thing is uh, April sixteenth. Release on uh, Ni Neuma Records, N E U M A. Um, and this is a, a rare treasure from Harry Parch, the Harry Parch Archives. Um, and two perspectives on what pianos can really do inside and out. From nearly forgotten pioneers to up and coming musical adventurers. They are promoting uh, modern music, modern compositions. So that's kind of, that's the stuff that I found interesting. I hope you find that interesting as well. Uh, be sure to check out other site, other parts of our website. There's some really 
wonderful stuff at Nora's Jazz Show. She has a, a lot of interesting uh, music that she shares with you, and, um, and it's really in-depth um, uh, views of the artists. Um, check out the video of the week. Uh, it's on the Berlin music scene. It was done in 2012. And the guy that's interviewed, Klaus, said he went to a concert every night, every night, like for the last 30 years. And I think he re would record it every night. And he also had a jam session every afternoon that he recorded. And he's not even a jazz musician or artist. He's a, like a, a really intense historian. Um, anyway, that's a good one. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for listening. If you have any um, ideas or comments, please um, share them with me in the comment section. And I'll look forward to seeing you next month.